All right, folks, our second example of lick number eight comes on the same tune. I wonder why. We're still working with it, but this comes at 42 seconds in. He does this staccato idea again. Same position, too. Let me just play it, okay? He goes... So you see the dynamics, the difference, the beginning of it. And then we're really digging in by the turn, right? The turnaround. So anyway, okay. So what what is he doing? It's the similar position, same notes actually as the last, uh, the first example of this staccato idea. He's playing, you know, you got your root on the B string 10th fret. And you got your, uh, you're starting on the 5th on the G string 9th fret. Okay, so that's the position. You're here. And, you know, many of us get, you know, you, you know this position from this. You got your main the pentatonic down here with all, most of our ideas. But if you go root, 5th fret, minor 3rd. You play with the second finger on the fourth because you slide up to get to that to into this position. So now you're on the fifth, and you got your flat seven and your root and your minor third. They're all right there. That's how you you know you usually get to this. Maybe you're familiar with this position. That's all I'm trying to point out. But anyway, okay. So it starts fifth, flat seven, root minor third. Then you come back root flat seven back to the root minor third so it goes like this it's it's exactly the same as the other example though that section starts doing that idea again okay then he but he follows it up different now he goes So he goes root minor third. He goes a little higher now and grabs the fourth up here. Two minor thirds. Root. So it goes like this. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. Again. Okay, then he goes two flat sevens. Then he jumps up to the fourth, two of them, minor third, to the root. Here's what it sounds like. And then you go down the minor pentatonic. You're shifting positions. You got you got the uh, flat seven, fifth, fourth, minor third, root. So the last, the turn, is minor third hammer into the fourth, back to the third, fourth, minor third, root, root, flat seven, fifth, mid. So the whole thing. What? I'm sorry. I'll do it again. You ready? Yeah. 
You notice the difference in dynamics? The beginning of it, it it's your light touch. Then you get a little louder here. Because you're kind of ending that statement. That's like one statement in itself. You get a little louder there, and then you really dig in. For the turnaround, you know? So this is, is like almost like a bridge in terms of dynamics, right? You're soft here. Get a little louder and then you really dig in on the end there to put the end of statement. And then we're going to turn around and go to the next 12 bars, right? Who knows what that brings? But um, all in the touch, you know, it's, it's amazing what you can do. The different dynamics that you bring to it. Um, all right. So I, I was trying to think of something I was going to mention. Feels really, you know, this one again falls under the fingers. Feels nice when you really belt it out. But uh, okay, so we'll go to the next one. I think we're done with the. Uh, we might have another idea. I'm not sure if, if I wonder why has another one. Well, you have to stay tuned to find out. I think we're going to either move to the next tune or we got another one. I'm not sure. But okay. We'll catch you no matter what. We'll catch you on the next one. Some more staccato ideas.